Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gareth, and this is episode 5 of my Swelter uh, playthrough. So in this episode, we will be driving our way to a long forgotten village and fighting our way through uh, lots of zombies and um, opening some gates so that we can like, proceed through. So let's go do it. We're in the jeep still. And uh, for, uh, another resistance stash. So you just hop out and just shoot the wood planks and it will cool down with some revolver ammo inside. Always nice to have. For sure. And there's some pistol ammo here too if you need it. So we'll keep driving down the river. Old dried up riverbed. Follow the resistance arrow up here. And you'll come across this checkpoint sort of area. And we have to figure out a way to open the gate yet again. And there's this strange combine, um, some sort of like combine flying drone that's just sitting here on the ground. It's kind of kind of cool. Never really seen them before. Not sure what it is. If anyone knows, maybe drop a comment because I've never really never seen one before. And apparently you can destroy it and get a battery out of it. So there you go. <laughs> okay, so to open this gate so that we can drive through, we've got to go through this door, obviously with the resistance symbol. Shoot the zombie. And this room, there's nothing in it except a carpet on the wall. Jump through the window. And we can access the... A bunch of zombies. You can throw a hand grenade over there and wipe out a few of them, but I just like shooting them with a shotgun. And don't forget to check out their room because there is a medkit in here. Oh, bullets. So let's open the gate. And then we come across this freaky kind of town. That's obviously had quite a nasty firefight with the combine, I guess. Kind of creepy. Completely abandoned. You can come down this through this path here, down to these buildings. Watch out for a few buried head crabs. Like that one. Ugh. Just a couple of head crabs, and you can come into the outhouse where there's a newspaper. And that's all that's in that area. Now let's carry on through the town to try and get to the other side. Down before you go over the ramp, there is a resistance stash in this broken building here. Just some revolver ammo. So grab that if you need it. Turn right, down the road, to this area here. This building here we will come back to later on. 
um, the council of the commune building. We'll actually exit there later on. We'll do like a loop and come back here. There is some sniper ammo right here if you need it as well. And I think that's about it for this area. Lots of dead bodies. Must have been some shootout up here. And just keep following the road. You'll come to these... These cars here. If you walk past them, there's some shotgun shells. So make sure you grab those. Especially because I'm a bit low in shells. Bunch of zombies will come out of this room to the left. We'll just take them out. Just like that. And a rogue heap crab. Two rogue heap, rogue heap crabs. You can come into the building. There's a battery in some ammo. The building where they came from. A garage and now you need to come over to these pallets and destroy them so the ramp to fall down sweet someone forgot their laundry obviously Well driving. So yeah, just follow the road down. Um, in this area, I kind of like to stop the the truck here, get out. There's a few head crabs around this area. One or two. I think there's two. Yeah, two. So make sure you get them if you want all the kills. And then just drive up the ramp to open the door over there. And it will open that door. We have to leave the car here for now. And we'll come back to it later on. So pass through the door. Into the building. There must have been kids here. There's toys and blocks and stuff. Eggplants and... Looks like beans or something. And a zombie. We must be in his house. Another head crab. Oh man, he spun around there. Tenth edition of English. So now we come outside, and there is a fast head crab zombie. So And he's dead. We'll head on down. And there's a few more. So be careful of that. Lots of head crabs. Well, that was a good shot. Okay. So now, essentially, what we have to do is come up the stairs, um, and we need to start this generator to, in turn, allow us power to the switch up here, and then we can open this gate over here to proceed through to get out of this um, courtyard area. As you can see, it's out of fuel. So there is a jerry can in this building here. So you just come over here, smash the planks, grab the fuel. But when you do, it will spawn a few, a handful of head crabs. 
So just come out here. I like to just come out here with the uh, baton and just waste them, you know. Pretty easy. And I think they're all dead now. Yep. Grab the gas, up the stairs, into the generator. And then I like to grab the gas canister, come back down. You have to it's on a timer, so you have to flick the switch and then shoot. Uh, sorry, we need to first put uh, this plug into the wall to power the door. And you have to shoot the plug once the door's open to lock it open, essentially. So, get our pistol. Hit the switch. Ah, we need to turn the generator on first. Whoops. <laughs> Generator. Switch. Come oh, man. Shoot. And that locks it open. Pass on through into, looks like, a market. With some juicy watermelons. A Half-Life 2 staple. And some tomatoes, which unfortunately you can't eat. And we'll head up the stairs. There's a grenade trap on this door, um, so I just whack it, hit it like that, and it'll open the door. Ow! That. Okay, that's never happened before. There's a few head crabs to contend with out here and a few zombies as well, I believe. Just some head crabs. Ah, here we go. And some health in the box. A bike wheel apparently. Okay, so you can come into this little shed and grab some other goodies. Just open it like that. Into the building above. Poison hit, which I poison hit, crab zombie. He's dead. Okay, so real easy to open the door. All you do is disconnect the batteries. So I usually just throw them out the door um, <laughs> and it disconnects them like that or out the window. Maybe just out the door. There we go. And now we can watch out and just rush the seed crab with the baton. And we are back. Council of the Commune on the main road. So now we've got to go back to our Jeep and basically get out of here. There is a little track over here, over this little bridge, and it takes you back down to our jeep. But be careful when you approach it as a couple of fast zombies will come after you. I think it's as you drive over there. So we'll activate the bridge now that it has power. And watch out for the ambush. Yeah, I think it's once you drive over there, so... Oh, maybe not. Ooh. Come here. Okay. Let's go. So that's this town area finished. 
And now we'll head over the bridge into the next area. You can stop here before the gate and grab a few goodies as well. Be sure not to miss them. There's a few grenades and I think there's a box in this truck up here. Yeah, there sure is with some health. Should grab that if you need it. And just smash your way through the gate. Watch out, there are hopper mines. They do follow you around, so I like to just um, push them away so that they're you know, sort of out of bounds. So they don't chase you and get stuck to the truck like this. Might be able to dodge them. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so that, that's that area done. Done, done, done. Lots of zombies. Very fun little little area. rest there and replenish your supplies. Hide your vehicle in the garage and follow the rails. You won't miss it. And this is where we say goodbye to the Jeep. As we can't use it anymore. Yeah, I think there's a few goodies around here. Maybe not. Watch out for a head crab around the corner. And he's dead. He is super dead. And around here, there isn't much out here, I believe. Once you get to the train tracks, there's this little shed here. Which has got a medkit and a box on it. So grab all that if you need it. Some grenades, there's a sh uh, sniper rifle on the bed as well. So I'll grab that. And you just follow, basically just follow the train tracks. Down to the resistance hideout. That should be all the allies. Yeah, watch out for this area. I usually just run quickly to this um, wire wheel because there is a couple of combine turrets up there which can really chew you out if you're not careful. Come underneath them, just run underneath the uh, catwalk up here and toss a grenade up there. <laughs> that went right over the roof, whoops. Man. Well, that did it. 
Okay. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So now we need to get rid of these chucks and move this wire wheel down because we need to jump on it to get onto the broken catwalk up there. So just stay there. Huh, maybe you do need to leave the truck underneath there. But it should stay there. There we go. <laughs> oh man. It's like trying to stand on a slab of butter sliding around everywhere. Right, there we go. And <laughs> not the easiest thing. We made it. Thank goodness. Right. We come down here, through the building, where we find a curious combine computer with what looks like some uh, security defense system or perhaps a train fence. Yeah, fence system that's offline. Kind of neat. And that door is locked, so we jump out the window. To get over the fence. And we'll make our way into the resistance building here. And there's some food on this um, table here that you can actually eat for some health. Just tomatoes and carrots and things. Yummy, yummy. Oh, hey, you from the city? Try vegetables if you can't find it there. I wonder if you can eat his one out of the bowl. Doesn't look like you can. Cool. Downstairs, move along. Your leaders agreed with us long ago that we are in charge of railway smuggling. Why the fuck are you undermining our operation? I don't give a fuck about your car now. Our people are dying in the city, and they will be crushed if we don't stop the dark trains. Because of your explosions, the Combine are bombing innocent civilians in the peaceful steppe villages. But you don't give a fuck about them either, do you? You brute. There are thousands of people in your wasteland, and hundreds of thousands in the city. The exchange is justified. <laughs> hey, you. What has brought you to me? So be it. Welcome aboard, comrade. I think you should see our contraband, so that you don't make mm, preemptive conclusions about our methods. Follow me. You must see this. <laughs> what was that animation? <laughs> that was hilarious. Alright. So we're going to go look at some contraband. Sounds exciting. Inside this container, you will see what we've been taking all these risks for. So you can get some armor from these PCV recharge stations, um, which were originally used in Half-Life Opposing Force. 
So it's kind of cool to see them again here in Svelte. Another little throwback. Really, really cool. Careful. Look. It would be impossible in the city. Only far, far away. In the midst of a wasteland. Away from the aliens' radiation. The humanity will be able to procreate. Now, we believe in the future. The future that we will have. So I guess because we're so far away from the cities, um, the suppression field, you know, it doesn't Attention. have We've a We've got a helicopter here. approaching. Yeah. Everyone, take cover and get ready. It's kind of neat. I repeat, an attack helicopter is approaching. It's time for you to show what you can do. All right, we have a helicopter incoming. So, next episode, guys, we'll take on the helicopter and we'll carry on to the next area. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next time.